Hey, how's it going? It's Matt Altman from Octane Art. I'm an automotive painter, a custom painter, an airbrush artist, and I love to create and make artwork for people. Well, Sheldon and I met at the Holiday Train in Black Falls, Alberta. Um, we were there, my wife and I, looking at the Holiday Train, which is awesome, and Colin James was playing, and I like Colin James, I like guitar, so we were out there checking it out, and um, Sheldon was the photographer for the event, and as we were all leaving and the night was coming to a close, uh, we saw Sheldon kind of lugging his gear and making, you know, his way out and with the crowd, and we started talking to him and, you know, chatting about his camera equipment and stuff like that, and, you know, obviously he's a photographer, so um, as I do with everyone, I gave him a card and I said, hey, I'm Matt and I love to paint stuff, and then he told me about a bike that he had to paint and it kind of just clicked. Yeah, my name is Sheldon Clausen and uh, I met uh, Jenna and Matt basically uh, I was photographing for the town of Black Falls and uh, I was doing the Christmas train and it just ended up that I was in the same kind of neck of the woods that they were in at the end of the night and um, he's just a super approachable guy and he just saw my my camera equipment over my shoulder and he's like you do this for a living I said yeah that's the, I'm here to, to shoot the the Christmas train and and then uh, both being business owners, we, we kind of were shameless <laughs> in that regard where we, we uh, who, who can give each other's cards the quickest. And uh, that's basically what happened. And he's like, yeah, I'm a painter and uh, it's my passion. And he's a super passionate guy, which is great um, because it, he wears it on his sleeve. I do too. And uh, it was a really quick, organic kind of meet cute kind of thing, like where we just it was meant to be like it, there there's no reason that they should have been there and i should have been there at the same moment uh except to get a beautiful bike out of the deal so um it was just super cool that we met so organically i want to say um but yeah it was it was it was uh it was just a a joint passion or a mutual passion of of what we do and uh and, and a willingness to talk about it to each other to, as total strangers a few weeks went by and uh, Matt texted me this unbelievable picture of a, of a fridge of all things. And uh, he's just such a nice guy. He, he texted me, just can't stop staring at this baby. And then texted me this unbelievably cool looking 50s retro throwback fridge with like, uh, it was red with underglow lights of all, of all things for a fridge. It was just the coolest thing. And uh, I just, I, I could see right there that he was so passionate about what he does that it doesn't matter if it's a car, truck, bike, fridge, um, if it's someone's vision and he, he gets to deliver that for someone, like that's the kind of painter, that's the kind of artist that I want to be affiliated with. So uh, Sheldon came by the shop and uh, apparently he really likes Converse shoes, which, you know, everybody has their thing. So Sheldon approached me about the idea of painting his motorcycle like a Converse shoe, a Chuck Taylor. Um, which apparently, from learning from this experience, is one of the most iconic images of the 20th century. So basically, I mean, the Chuck, the Chuck Taylor shoe itself did a lot of the work for me as far as the style that I wanted to go after, but the color was, was, was my idea. And I kind of spitballed like a jade green and then uh, eventually landed on this like uh, really vibrant blue with that, that metal fleck in there. So we headed out to the, the, the paint store once we discussed everything and Sheldon actually picked out his colors and um, was you know, right involved with the scheme of the bike and how it should look and then it was my challenge to apply it to the bike and uh, make it a reality for him. And I knew that that's kind of the style that I was going after and so um, rather than take a guess at what I was trying to what I was trying to get uh, Matt took me right to, to the paint store that he uh, that he goes to and um, and we picked it together like basically I gave him an idea of the base color and he's like well what about this and how about if we do this and, and there's this jar in this display case of like this blue uh, kind of like, like flake and, and he's like if we put this in that and, and mix it all together like this thing's going to have such dimension like you can't even tell where the base is anymore because when you look into this thing when the sun's shining on it it, it looks like it goes down for for weeks like it's just so deep like the like the color and the the fleck and i don't know it's just it's unbelievable and i can't wait to 
to get it out there and show people. So in working with Sheldon and his bike, uh, there's a lot of imagery and there's a lot of design work to be done. And I'm an automotive painter. And in terms of the design world, automotive painters are kind of the cavemen. They're very basic. They lay basic colors. So images need to be produced from somewhere. And that's where my wife, Jana Ireland, comes in. And with this bike, we wanted to produce clean, crisp, exact images. So Jana had to be, you know, filled in, informed, and, and brought to speed on everything that we were doing on the bike. And anything that I couldn't do in paint, she did in graphic. So um, she designed it all and produced it all in a, a, a vinyl that we could apply to the bike and make it as clear and crisp as we could make it and still incorporate it as a paint job, custom artwork, the whole nine yards so that Sheldon could get everything that he actually anticipated. My name is Jana Ireland and I'm the digital illustrator and graphic designer for Octane Art. Matt and Jana are a team. Uh, their shop and their office are, are right next door. So when you go there, uh, you can't really do a project without like one without the other. Anything that you want um, with the team of Matt doing the actual application to your canvas and Jana making your ideas come to life, it's the sky's the limit. You can, you can, like he said, a Barbie bike. You can do, you can do anything. Like I, I just want to buy old bikes now and get them all theme painted. <laughs> so when I met Sheldon, I, I learned that he's a big Converse Chuck Taylor fan, and uh, he's a photographer um, by trade. And so his his logo actually for Sheldon class in photography, we decided to he wanted to amalgamate it with the Converse logo. And, uh, and kind of do a, an amalgamated brand of the, the Converse and the Sheldon class in photography. So this all had to be done digitally on the computer. And so we, uh, we sat down and, and did it right on, in real time, you know, right in front of his eyes. You could see it all happen. And, and uh, I think we've come up with a pretty cool combined look for his, his bike and the branding of his company. Once I was done talking about the ideas and, and basically the color schemes and all that with Matt, uh, we went, both of us went right next door to uh, Jana's office. Just kind of 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 what's going to be what on the bike, like so um, the, the toe cap is the front fender and this, uh, the, the gas tank is the main body of the shoe and the back of the, the, the back fender is the back of the shoe and what's going where and and the fact that I got to incorporate my logo into uh, an iconic emblem like Chuck Taylor. I've been a fan of this, uh, this shoe, uh, this, this, this style of shoe for as long as I can remember, which is, it's super cool to be able to, to have a, a, a living, breathing, like rideable piece of art that's both mine and, and Octane Arts, like Jana and, and Matt's, that, uh, I mean, it's winter now, but uh, I can't wait for spring uh, to take this thing out on the road and, and turn some heads because it's unbelievable and it's unmistakable. I've shown a couple of people um, the bike as it's just been re-put together in the last day or two here. And I, you know, you don't have to tell people, hey, this is a, a Converse shoe. It's so iconic and it's so, it's so well done. You'd have to be virtually blind not to tell what we were going for here so um without being overstated like it's a totally understated look and i just i couldn't be happier so on this bike um, sheldon really wanted something to stand out be bright uh, but not be garish and the whole design feature of the converse shoe with the motorcycle is something that i've never myself put into play but um, as time went on i could see sheldon's vision and put it towards the bike. Sheldon picked out a very beautiful blue pearl metallic color. And to that we added um, semi metallic flake. And what we did is we based the bike. And Sheldon was really good about this. Uh, I, I asked Sheldon to come and suffer with me. So, and he did, and it was really awesome. He came to the shop and we prepped the bike. Uh, I based the bike with the colors of choice and um, made it awesome you know and when he first saw it, his reaction his initial reaction was oh wow it's blue 
But to me, because of the heavy metallic flake, it needed to be water sanded. And Sheldon took part in that, and that was really awesome too, because there's a lot of hands-on labor that goes into making a paint job like this. Making it look glassy smooth like a jelly bean takes a lot of labor and time. So not only is Sheldon a photographer, he's always willing to try his hand at something different, which is killer. So, you know, when anybody's willing to come and suffer with me, come on down. So Sheldon water sanded the initial stage of the basing of the bike, which gave me a smooth substrate to then lay the graphic over. Uh, once it was water sanded, I applied the white stripe around, the white and the black, and then I cleared the bike, which would be called an intercoat clear, and I water sanded that as well, and then did the final graphic overlay, which would be the Converse and the All-Star on the back of the bike, and some of the other graphicking, which is the 900 and the Octane Art. So, this bike is a multi-layered process. It's not just slam it on, paint it one shot, give it a clear coat and out the door it goes. It has to be produced by hand uh, and you have to allow the material the time it takes to cure, to, you know, to make it right. We don't rush things out the door. We really do take our time and we want to involve the customer as much as possible so to show them the work and the labor involved so that they can appreciate the end product. So our slogan at Octane Art is Preserve, Restore, Create. And we do a lot of, of restorative um, custom work for customers, but one of the things that is really our passion is the creation. And uh, we like to work with our customers um, with their dreams, with their vision, with the, the artistic idea that they have in their mind that they bring to us. Um, it's really our job to make that a reality. And so, uh, you know, I bring, I bring a lot of experience in different industries and different kind of realms of design from print and vinyl and newspaper even. And so, you know, it's, it's fun to kind of work with a lot of different one-off jobs, one-off ideas where it challenges me create creativity to, uh, to come up with things that are maybe not within the norm of a graphic design industry. You know, you can get into ad design where that's all you do is design advertisements all day long. And uh, something I really enjoy, something that's very fulfilling for me is being able to break away from that and being able to do something that's completely one of a kind and, you know, it's, it's a little bit of my creation blended with a little bit of someone else's creation, my customer's creation, some of Matthew's um, creativity, you know, we, we collaborate together on the job um, to really, to come out with the end goal, with the end goal being that the customer was in charge of this project and it was their vision that we wanted to create for them. Sheldon participated the whole time throughout this whole project. And uh, when it came time to reveal his motorcycle to him, and this puts a huge smile on my face, he didn't want to see it initially. And I had set the bike up in the shop, so it was set up on the paint stands so that it looked flowing and, and continuous as it would almost on the motorcycle. This kind of gives me anxiety because every time I reveal anything to anyone, I'm always kind of nervous and I, I want them to love what I've produced. But at the same time, you know, we don't compromise. We don't we don't mess around. We want to give everybody what they want and we truly want them to be overwhelmed and happy. And when Sheldon saw his bike, it was actually hilarious. He came into the shop and he didn't want to see it at first. He didn't know I set it up. He showed me how to work his camera, told me where to position it, where it would be a good picture. You know, he didn't want to see it. I led him over with his eyes closed. And uh, yeah, when he saw the bike, he was really, really thrilled. And I kind of enjoy that, you know, it's like we're children again. We're counting the sleeps to the awesomeness, right? And, and how many adults get to do that? And Sheldon really took part in that. And that's really what I live for is to see someone's reaction when they, they get more than they expected and it just floors them. And when I can make people happy like that, it gives me a feeling that I know I'm doing exactly what I should be doing with my life. And that's painting people's stuff. I mean, I've never actually had anything that I've owned painted or for that for that matter I've never collaborated with another artist uh, to this degree before in my whole life so it was really uh, a super unique and uh, thoroughly enjoyable experience from from 
top to bottom, like right from meeting him to him revealing the bike on the stands, like the pieces of the bike on the stands when I, when I came to the shop to see it for the, for the first time. We texted throughout the whole process. Um, he knew that I was excited about it and, and uh, he was excited about showing me and he would t text me like little tease pictures of basically just like the color before it was cleared and and I, I you know it got me excited it got me through the the next week when I I couldn't see anymore if you ever need anything um spruced up or painted like if you want to give new life to something that you're not that excited about anymore like this bike was a very bland factory paint job when I got it and it's it's like I got a brand new motorcycle today so with this particular project um, it was entailed, uh, the customer had specifics in mind, and with that, every project is always a little different. But what Octane Art's aim is, is to give the customer exactly what they want, and to produce something that they're not just happy with, something that exceeds their expectations. And to do that, you kind of have to dig a little bit. With that being said, Sheldon was more than willing to give all the information we needed, all the visuals, and he was even there to show us what he wanted to see, which was great. You know, that's unusual. Sometimes, you know, we just get carte blanche, and that can be intimidating as well, but we always enjoy exceeding someone's expectations and producing a product that we can be proud of for years to come. Something that's quality, it has longevity, durability and all the factors that you want in a regular motorcycle paint job except it's yours it's custom and you designed it you created it you wanted it but you got it and that's the way life should be